Well, this is a fight as well as we continue our Division One first heats. Opland in his Lancer, second in the championships. And alongside him, the man who is leading the Division One championship leaderboard at the moment in his Toyota Celica, beautifully prepared, ex-ski racer Gunder Svan. And then alongside those two, we've got the RS Escort Cosworths of Lineman and Hunsbet. It's going to be a tough one, this, Arthur. Yeah, it is, Peter. The entry's a little bit smaller than, uh, in Ireland because there is a meeting in Holland the same day, and that it's where Kuipers, with the second of the Mitsubishi Lancers, is at the moment. But it is Opland coming away then to take a comfortable lead. Opland going away from Gunter Svon in second place, being challenged there by Lineman, who gets a little bit of help, I think, from Hunsbeck as they go through that first corner. But once again, the Mitsubishi Lancer then of Ivan Opland from Norway, getting away now from Gunter Svon, Yes, Jos Kuyper's not here today. In fact, we've only got one driver in this meeting from Belgium or the Netherlands, because, as I said, there is a big meeting over there in Valkenswaard this particular weekend, and I think a lot of these drivers with uh, sponsorship deals are involved, that they do their national championships, and that's kept them away. So Opland could have an easy ride here with Jos Kuyper's, our Brands Hatch winner, not with us. So let's see if uh, Opland can build on this, and in fact, build on this lead in the championship over Gundersvan by the end of the afternoon. Gundersvan still there in second place, though, keeping that Toyota Celica well in terms there with the Mitsubishi of um, Opland. The two Escort Cosworths once again beginning to feel their age. Tony Vardy was telling us that maybe the Nissan's ran its life in European Rallycross. Well, we've said it before, it's beginning to look as though the Escort Cosworths may be heading in that direction as well. But meantime, they're heading in the direction of the back end of the Toyota, which is having a big, big problem here now to hold them up and that is allowing Opland to go well clear. We're concentrating on this battle now for second, third and fourth with the runner-up in the championship last year in this category from Germany, Bernd Leinemann having a look on the inside. Oh, Leinemann's going to do it. Leinemann through on the inside and trying to go with him is Hunsbet. Hunsbet can't find a way through and it is still Gundersvon as they go on their last lap then. We know that Opland's going to win this one, surely, and it looks as though Bernd Leinemann's going to come through into second place. Who is going to be third? Can Hunsbet get past Gundersvon as he's not... Uh, Vintage Gundersvon here at the moment. He must have got a problem with the car, I would think. But Opland takes this one. Opland quite clearly. And Leinemann comes through to get one of his better results of the year. And a very close run, think. And I think Hunsbert may just have taken third.